Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and in today's episode review, we are going to review episode three up. Uh, The My Little Pony, Pony Life Season 1, Episode 26, The Great Collide and Spectacular Spectacular Musical Muscaora. I, I, I guess that's how you say it. So yeah, um, we're gonna do that for this week. So... Um, let's get into first impressions. So let's start with. Give me a second to open the wiki page. Oh no, this is a alter. This is utterly failure. Oh no. Um, why? Why? Why, why you do this? <clears throat> uh, so um, let me get this wiki page up and also the episode summary. Uh, I I I did not plan this right. I did not plan this right. Okay. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so anyway, um, uh, the synopsis first. In the Great Collide, the main six face off with, ah, uh, sorry, face off in a friend versus friend matchup, and in the spectacular, spectacular music musical, Muscaura, the main six. Uh, trust into the spotlight during the spectacular, spectacular closing ceremony. So yay! Um, and then now let's go into first impressions. So in the first part, um, it's pretty okay. It it's hmm. How do I even explain this one? The episode was fun, and it was interesting. I like what they did, but other than that, it was hmm, yeah, it was okay. It was nothing bad. And in the spectacular, spectacular musical, it was. Oh, I'm gonna save that for later because that has a lot of things I need to talk about. So anyway, if you have not watched this episode, pause here and go do so. <coughs> Welcome back. So, in the Great Collide, we start off the episode with the main six, um, not really main six, but with bulk breaking down what's going to happen and whatnot, and we see that um, some of the friends, um, Rarity, Twilight. Uh, sorry, no. Um, we get. Rainbow Dash Pinky Pie Flutter Shy on one team and <coughs> sorry, uh, we get Twilight Rarity and Applejack and another team. Um, they're not the only ponies there because we have some of the guys on that team too. For uh, Twilight's team, we have two of the emo ponies and Snips, and on the other one, we have. Dishwasher something snails and one of the other Edmond ponies. So <clears throat> uh, the girls are debating on what they should do, how should they do stuff, and they came to the conclusion that we should give it our all. We should give one hundred percent. And uh, um, the the other girls would do the same too because it's the spirit of the competition and whatnot. So. Uh, they expect us to do well, so yeah, they do. And first up, uh, we see the game of buckball. <sighs> This is a the the way that they play buckball here is very very strange. And <clears throat> there, yeah, I mean, how how do I even? Okay, I understand. Why? But at the same time, too, there's set rules and whatnot, and you can't just suddenly change the rules just because you want to fit the story. And uh, <sighs> but the game is played, and uh, the girls are fierce at it, uh, being very overly competitive and so on. Uh, the guys are just there for. Mm, yeah, the guys are just there, so. 
we cut to the bleachers and we see Invert Fluttershy and she's just nudie as ever and we see uh, Potion something. Potion, Potion. What was her name again? The pony that nobody really cares but somehow turned out to be a really cool gal. Oh man. Potion Ryosa or something? Is there a transcript? Oh, there is a transcript. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Pinkie Pie, Rarity. Ah, Potion Nova, yes. Potion Nova says that um, the girls are really ping- playing their all and really giving it 110%. And I hope they come out as good friends after this. And she says that she needs to go back and poof off because the potion are not going to restock themselves. So, uh, the next event will be uh, the... I'm not sure how many meters dash, but it's a race. So, we get to see them really competing and really uh, giving it their all. And then we see Pinkie Pie zooming uh, zooming and zooping um, away and saying, oh, you guys should eat my dust. And Pinkie Pie breaks the fourth wall and says, oh no, as a food expert, I cannot uh, let my friends eat dust. Instead, I shall feed them cupcakes. And somehow, uh, it's Pinkie Pie's pet alligator? Oh man, I forgot. Oh wow, it's been so long since I heard. Oh no, I, I'm forgetting Pinkie Pie's pet gator. What was his name? Um. Oh man, th- this is embarrassing. Oh god. <laughs> um. Was it? Uh, Gummy. Yes, now I remember. Gummy. Gummy was there, standing by with some uh, cupcakes for Pinkie Pie to take and. Pinkie Pie grabs it and she does the Akira motorbike uh, stop, which is kind of cool. I I I I have to say that is really cool. And I mm, I don't know. It is it, is it, it's a nice reference. Yep, it's a nice reference. And Pinkie Pie feeds the competitors. Um, uh, well, mostly feeds her friends cupcakes and they lap her around the lap. Uh, and then P. Twilight, um, using her big brain, calculates the best scenario and what to do for the race, um, using math to calculate what's the best jump aspect ratio and so on. And uh, she catches up with Rainbow Dash. And before they hit the finishing line, um, Rainbow Dash says that ah yes twilight i never knew that you were uh, you, you could be this fast but unfortunately for you i set a pot of honey near the finishing line so that gives me more motivation to win don't ask it just happens <clears throat> so the main six crosses the finishing line and proceeds to the next event. Um, the guy ponies, they just trot. They, 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 they don't really care. And, um, I have to pause here because I know it's almost finished. It, the, the, the episode is almost done, but how, how do I? Okay. I the the problem with this episode honestly is that I I get that this is a comedy cartoon where it's mostly slapstick and whatnot and most of the stories are told for comedic effect. I, I, I do understand that, but it's one of those things where you had your predecessors do something even better or it did almost the same thing, and in this scenario here, uh, we get we get um, sports, but not done 
spectacularly like how Friendship is Magic's done it. Um, in that one episode, um, where Spike sang the national anthem and was so cringe. Uh, that was a sport episode, by the way. And it was done pretty okay. We, we didn't really get to see most of the activities, but we get to see that everybody's giving it their all. Um, in one of the episodes where we see sports griffins, I think could be the same one. Um, I'll take another one. Uh, in the winter, the no winter wrap up, but the running of the leaves. We get to see uh most of the ponies doing their best, taking a trot, taking a run. So it's it's been done better someplace else, and in this one, it just feels like the girls, or in this episode, it just feels like the top six are just meant for, or the ending is just meant for the girls, and rest of the ponies who participated are just there because they're forced to by the writers <sighs> and also the sports rules like it's all over the place no, uh. I, I'm not gonna say that I'm a stickler for rules but if you establish rules in a previous episode or series it's been, it'll be nice if you could follow through. I mean, you could uh, fast forward it with montages. <sighs> eh, this, this, should, this should go really at the end. But anyway, um, let's continue on. Let's continue on. <clears throat> so, the next event for the girls is going to be jousting. But it's not going to be jousting as the way you think. But think of it as... American gladiators, where two competitors are, well, in this case, all three competitors are set on separate platforms where they hit each other with huge giant cotton butts, or what do they call this? Uh, cotton, yep, cotton butts or cotton swabs, you know, whatever it is. So, uh, you have that, and the girls get into it really well. You you get to see Rainbow Dash trying to take out um, Rarity, uh, Pinkie Pie, and sorry, uh, no, Twilight, and uh, sorry, um, you get to see Twilight and um, Fluttershy, then Pinkie Pie and Applejack taking each other out, and uh, one by one, they all fall, um, starting with Rainbow Dash and Rarity, and then you get to see. Um, Twilight and Fluttershy and last but not least it was Pinkie Pie and Applejack the both of them um, <clears throat> did their um, did the, the both of them really give up a really give a good fight for each other really give them a good challenge uh, in the end Pinkie Pie got hit and fell it seems that Rainbow sorry Apple Dash might Apple Dash, I mean, Applejack might be the winner, but unfortunately for her, she slid too fast and fall off the platform. Oh no! Who will fall first? But before falling, we see Bulk holding them both up and declaring that all six participants were the winner. And it's a sh true showmanship of friendship and athleticism. <laughs> Athleticism. So, yay, um, everybody wins! And, I, mm, this bothers me a bit. I know this part is silver, because, um, but still, but still, <clears throat> um, it's the spirit of the competition, and Bob Bicep says that, yay, you guys win, that's awesome. So with that, uh, we move on to the next episode, and the next episode is the musical thing. So <clears throat> Pinkie Pie is very excited that their the event is going to close. Um, the, the event is going to going to have a closing ceremony, and she wants the best seat in the house. 
So she wakes everybody up and tells everybody to get ready because yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go because we don't want to miss the awesomeness. There's going to be a song and it's going to be for them. So we see the girls in the stadium and it's way too early. It's very, very early. And nobody's there yet except all of them. So, yay, um, after a few hours, the girls, um, wake up from their beauty sleep and see that, yay, everybody's here. Woohoo! So, um, what can I say? Every, yeah, we, we see Princess Celestia in the bleachers, um, Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle. I don't see Chicken. Oh, I do see Spike, so that's cool. So, the girls are excited to see the show because it's going to be fun. But, <clears throat> Bulk comes up to them saying that they need their help, the main six. So, they go backstage and the girls ask, um, what up? And Bulk says that, um, you girls are inspiration and whatnot. And, um, because of you, I too want to... Uh, catch up with my old friend to rekindle some uh, lost friendship and competitiveness and whatnot. And yeah, um, you girls are in charge now. Yep, you girls are in charge. So with that, the girls do the closing ceremony. Um, Let's see. <laughs> Um, it's, it's musical and whatnot. And the girl says, um, what do we do? How do we do this? And we see that Fluttershy is the one first to bat, going up on stage, um, putting a rhythm and singing the closing theme. <clears throat> and oh my goodness. Um, I, I mm, this this is one of those songs or this is one of those Yeah, this is one of those songs where I'm not a hundred percent sure what were they thinking. Uh maybe this is just them having fun. Okay, let, let's just assume that they're having fun. Uh the singers which I'm guessing are the actors themselves are off key. The song is okay, and other than that, it's serviceable as the closing song. Mind you, this is the closing song for the series, for the Pony Life thing. So, it's going to be very, very strange. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to cut forward to the end because it's ending. With, with that, uh, everybody hugs, become friends, and be, how do I put this? Yeah, they, they hug, become friends, or more friends, and um, announce that, yay, this is awesome and whatnot. And, yeah, uh episode ends or the series ends yay so what do i have to say about pony life season one <clears throat> <clears throat> pony life season one <sighs> shush hmm. um give me a second i'm trying to really think of this Okay, over our, um, overarching story or overall, it's an interesting show. It's mostly done for humor and whatnot, but there's a point where you can tell that they're shifting, that they shifted gears. In the first few episodes in the series, there's a huge focus on potions where they 
try to um, kind of highlight it being the pool of the or being the focus of the episodes where oh um, potions do this potions do that and then um, suddenly it kind of wavers off and then it, it gotten like a bit uh, mean spirited at some point so it didn't feel like uh, it was ponies it felt like something an, another show it just had the pony skin then uh, after Hoshanova appeared and gone it seems to be back to the pony formula but shorter and it started getting interesting again. <clears throat> but other than that, it was a nice experiment, I think. it. I, I don't know if it succeeded in what it wanted to do. Because here's the thing. Um, What was the goal for pony life? I mean... What I mean by this is that when you see Friendship is Magic, um, clearly the initial goal was for Twilight to make good friends and kind of be a better pony. And also at the same time to try to um, be at the gala and have a great time with quote-unquote her friends. So, we have the overarching plot there, and in Pony Life, it's kind of a slice of life, chapstick comedy kind of show, so there's nothing, there's, there's no real ending there, but you, you get that feeling of, okay, what should the girls, or what should the moral of the episode or the show be, and so on. And at least in, Pony Life, sorry, uh, in Friendship is Magic, Season 1 and so on, uh, we, we get to see that, yay, uh, Twilight is learning about friendship and whatnot. And in Pony Life, it's just them having fun. I mean, uh, they do introduce a lot of technology into the show. As What I mean by that is there's TVs, uh, camcorders and cell phones, even tablets. So, okay, um, if the goal is to usher in technology for future shows, um, example, uh, to move into G5 without really explaining how they work, I guess you can say that. But at the same time, too, I, I, I would really love it if they explain certain things like Twilight saying that okay uh, with the help of Sunset Shimmer they usher in new tech to all equestrians and so on now um, ponies of Equestria will have an easier time to communicate with each other via the world wide web and so on or even whatever it is but Without that, pony life just feels meh. So yeah, um, my overall feeling for pony life is it's okay. It's serviceable for what it wants to do, which is entertain kids. But in all honesty, it was just meh. Yeah, so I mean, I I don't want to be a downer or a negative Nancy, but this is just meh. I enjoy a few episodes, but the overall feeling is just a big meh. Um, I even had a Patreon supporters question, you know, really questioning, being surprised that wait, pony life is still a thing. I I can't blame him. <laughs> I mean, if you if you didn't really pay close attention, you would have thought that it ended at season one. 
But to his surprise, which I'll be surprising him later on, season two is there. And there's animals other than ponies with unicorn horns. I seen pictures of it. So yeah, that's going to be surprising for me in the future. So we'll well we will see how that goes because uh, from what I can tell, the shift or the feeling or well the focus for next season is going to be, hey, we have other creatures who have unicorn horns too, or magical horns. We shall see how that goes. Overall, I got no idea. It could be a flop, it could be meh, or it could be better than uh, season 1. So we'll just have to wait. By the way, Pony Life only has two seasons. And if you're thinking, oh, this was a failure, I don't think so. Because this was just a um, filler before they move into G5, the movie, because uh, there was this huge gap of nothing in between the end of Season 9 and the start of the G5 movie. So there was that gap, and Pony Life seems to be filling that gap. How well did it fill? That is up to you guys at home. <clears throat> But anywho, uh, those are my opinions. I hope you enjoy listening to me babble about it. But let's move on. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MBS show sorry, at the MBS show at gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, please do subscribe. Sorry. Uh, and also, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get weeks early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another episode of MBS Show. See ya!